it's Haley hey. back in the video and to and today we will be I'll be teaching you guys how to what my weekly maintenance for fish keeping is. So basically I just got back from my trip at um California. I know. I got back at one in the morning so I really didn't check up on my fish too much and um I just fed them in the morning, but I haven't really got time to do any maintenance yet because I'm really tired. But today we will be doing maintenance and checking up on my fish. Basically, I think I'll have to get rid of these, my two scavengers in here. They've gotten way too big. I did not know they got that big, but I'll be doing an all my pets update. What the heck is that? Why is there a wasp in my tank? Has this happened to you guys? I don't know if that's a, it's like a bug. I got a new fish. His name is Tiger. We're going to get his sisters and brothers soon today. But yeah, first of all, I want to do some maintenance. So, for weekly maintenance, I clean the outside of the tank and the lights, but I just clean the lights and one light is out. So, this tank, I had my fry in there and I haven't got a chance to refill the water, so I'll just be doing that today. Um, and then hopefully they can have a little bit more space. And then I get this big old one day pitcher that I use. And a gravel vac. That's Sally. You're welcome. Dance. Thanks? Dance. Dance? Yeah. Oh, I can't dance right now, Bubba. Bye. First thing we're going to be doing is the angelfish tank. Well, actually, it's an angelfish guppy tank. But I think one of my guppies just got sick. Because one of my guppies just killed, right? Because um, actually one was sick. It was Mark. And now he has his full color. He is doing so good, but now I can never find Delta. And actually, I had called him Toby before, but his real name is Delta. And he's just really sick. There he is. It's, that's Delta. He, that's Mark. Wait, what the heck? Or maybe he's just showing his little because he was black before, like, pure beautiful blackness. It was so pretty. Why does Mark have, like, two faces? <laughs> like, one side is, like, this gorgeous nine color, then the other side's, like, gray. But, yeah, he's kind of sick, so we just have to fix him. Probably, he has a, they, and if you guys are wondering what, there's a usually that at 90. It's not ever 100 degrees, so it's below 100 all the time, and, but never below 80. And there's just a set at 82 around there. So, we'll start on this tank. I did. So, a lot of people actually ask me a lot of the time to ever take out my fish when I'm doing a audit change. And this is kind of hard to answer because yes and no. The only time I've ever taken them out is if I need to do the biggest water change, like a huge water change. Because I know one time, like, my team just had like, a really bad experience. So, I had to clean it, but it was because I had a system overload. I had too many fish in there at once, and this tank is honestly doing amazing. It's still crystal clear, that water's crystal clear. Um, it's just doing great. Those lights are not any cleaning, don't touch. Why? Because. Let's go beat me? Yes. Let's see it. Jackson. Sorry, sorry. Stop it. Sorry. Let's see it. Ew. What? That's the yucky fish tank. No, it's not. Uh. So my agent is going to hiding in the back. And I usually do this kind of stuff. Oh. <coughs> I'll try it. No, you cannot try it. Stop it. The dyes always just gonna keep coming off until it's been a while. Basically, I just wanna try to get all of it out. Hey, hey. Don't touch that! Yeah. No, I need my phone to stay up. Don't touch. Okay? Hey. Don't touch. Hey. 
basically I'm gonna do an all my pets update today after I get my new ones. No, stop. Okay, so I'm back on my second water change. Got some get out of the way. Honestly, this thing like it like temporarily breaks. So now it's going. So I just need to go at the top and get any kind of sort of, um, and you know, try to find where Delta went. Corners definitely are a must when you guys are cleaning because that's where a lot of fish, and in the back, the fish tend to get their privacy from is in corners and in the back. So basically, since I think are so low, it's probably going to be really hard to clean it without getting another thing, but I cannot find Delta right now, which makes me kind of worried that he passed away. I haven't seen him. So basically that's a 50% water change, which I can't do anymore. So I'm just gonna jump to the floor. And water will get everywhere, so hold on, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna throw this away. Okay, so you guys can see it's already started to settle. So basically, I just need to redo the water. And then I'm gonna go search for, cause that's Mark right there. That's Mark and Sunset, and then over there, that's Dawn. So basically, it's really hard to find the small guppy in the size of this tank. And honestly, it kind of scares me because I was gone for so long, so his body could have already been processed through the filter if he did die. Because obviously, you know, when fish, when fish go, their body gets soft. I'm just taking out all my decorations. And actually, I had to make this really fully stocked, or else I wouldn't usually have this much decorations in it. Because of my angelfish, because they like to hide, especially Peter and Oscar. They love to hide. So just taking out your decoration should definitely help you find all your fish if you're missing any. Especially if they are sick and they're hiding. And then my thermometer keeps coming unattached. There we go. So now I can get a full... And I don't see him. Where did Delta go? I'm gonna go ahead and get this jellyfish out. Just while I'm doing this So there's going to be a lot of bacteria that just came out of that filter.
don't know what's going on. As you guys can see, my angelfish don't like a lot of movement, so they will go to the back of it. So now we have to get some tap water. Because all my chemicals are upstairs, so I'm just going to put it in the water first and then she's tap water, which shouldn't make that big of a difference. So, fill up the water. Okay, so the tank is filled now. All the way to the top. And so it, now you guys can see the tank is settling. And then you guys want to see how messy it really is. It's not that bad, actually. It's just a little bit foggy from being so crowded up. Then every fish does not like their water moving. You guys can see the thermometer is still at the same level, but... So now it's in the aquascape, so every single time you do water change, you're going to bring new fish. So every time... So basically, every single time you're doing a... Okay. So you guys can see the water has already been clouded. Um, I do think he did pass away, because you guys can see all those guppies are... All those guppies are probably not in the corner. Also, we have angelfish, and there is no other fish to be seen. We have an empty shell over there that does not house anything in it. Pretty sure my snow got eaten, my other one. Jackson, where's my spray? Okay, so now it's on the aquascape. So every single time you're aquascaping, you definitely want to change it up, and this helps with aggression. And so every, so this will help with aggression. Basically, I'm just gonna make sure I'm gonna put the bubbler under the water for a little bit longer. Sorry, it's just really a big mess. Maybe. Aquascaping. Peter is like the Oscar is like the one I love the most. So I'm gonna move, and this will help with a lot of signs of pain. Hey, 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 hey. Basically, this will help a lot of times with aggression and the air. So for some reason, it's always messing up, and so like this would usually stay up in there, but it's not staying up in this tank. So I think I'm actually just gonna switch it out. 
And this bacteria is like the exact same thing. Just a different fish, so this bacteria shouldn't be as bad as the normal one. So this is just going to pop in there. And this one, it's just a lot of different seed. And then this is just going to suck onto the bottom right here. But normally I wouldn't recommend doing that. Because you can see it's staying afloat. But this should stay afloat. And then this castle will just go back here to where all, excuse me guys, sorry, I know it's a small corner. But that's the only, sorry guys, I'm moving another thing, I'm sorry. That's where the castle's gonna go. This thing is gonna go in that corner. Basically, aquascaping is like a fun little part. Not just like, just seeing these fish and like making it your own is definitely a lot. Being in control is definitely a thing. And that's why a lot of people recommend fish as their first. Like, I'm gonna make a full video on this here, right? So it's just starting out with these little. Run. Starting out with these little nips and bits. But actually, I'm gonna become a full time pet YouTuber when I'm older, or just like, yeah, just pet YouTuber and stuff. So this is definitely one of the things I love about this hobby. Is definitely it helps with anxiety a lot. But I would love everyone to be a fish owner. Then again, I would hate if everyone were a fish owner. Just because it requires a lot of work, and um, definitely not, not everybody's up for the job. And there we go. This thing is fully done, and I shouldn't have to do another thing for a week. And basically, I just changed out my. I changed out my aquarium. I I aquascape every one month, every month, or anyone showing showing progression. And Jay definitely wasn't this case, so that was definitely something that I've been needing to do. I'm not too sure I will do one. Oh, I'm changing this. I don't know. I didn't do that wasp spot though. I think it's a wasp. I'm gonna go get my smaller net. Put right here. So you guys can see it's so pretty foggy, but when we come back down, because it's in this little room right here, my bathroom, because I have a lot of fish nets and I have a lot of pet stuff, so probably all my stuff is all over the house because my mom got soaking wet because me and Victor threw water all over her. So it's fun. I have a little tiny net and I have a really big net. Not sure, guys. That was me. This is not, this is a dry net. So I have a really small net for my little fish. My guppies are still at the top, hanging out there. And then angelfish are still back there. So it is, it's gonna take them a while, but you guys can see all the microorganisms adjusting and falling down to the water. So I have a really big net for my garami and for my angelfish. And I have a really little net for these guys, but pretty soon they're gonna upgrade because like they are huge. What the heck is that on my net? Oh, just, there's waste. What is that? So it looks like an ant. Yep, that's an ant. We have really bad ant problems right now, so. Okay, just grabbing that. I just want to know what this is. Oh, yeah, that's a big boss. Hey, guys. I, okay, that was unnecessary. That was really unnecessary. Where'd it go? That's what my scavenger did because he got scared. And yeah. So yeah, I definitely need to do a water change. But my scavengers are definitely jerks. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to get rid of them. Um, I love them so much. But where did that wasp go? Because I need to get him out. Okay, so first thing in this tank, since it's so big, and actually, there's my there's Tiger, who I love so much. He's like the perfect fish ever. I'm actually just going to start by taking out all of this and make sure every, because these scavengers, they poop a lot. So, they probably do more harm than they do good, but if you're into that, then, you know, go ahead. But I don't recommend them. And actually, I really want to get that thing out as fast as I can. Oh, yeah, look at all that. Mmm. 
You guys are just amazing. My scavengers, like, they are the best. They poop so much, and then they just poop. And they do me a lot of good. I mean, I gotta clean up all their poop, and they should be taking care of my fish's poop. But they do not clean well at all. I need to find that wasp. Where did it go? Because he still has a stinger in that. And I am soaking wet. So this is really the worst situation for me right now. And I do not want to get stung by the wasp. If I can't find it, then how am I supposed to not get stung? And I'm soaking wet and I'm wearing long sleeves and I'm just not having a good day. Okay, let's get my small net and start looking for that wasp. There he is. Oh, don't go away. I need you to stay there so you can die and don't ever come into my... See, this is what happens when you have... There's actually been... Okay, there he is. You guys see him? That is a literal wasp in my aquarium. Did you guys see him? Yeah, that's him. Yeah, I hate him. It's better not like fly away. It better be dead. Is it dead? It's dead. Hey. I know. I know. Life is tough, isn't it? All my fish are the great thing. I'm not about to get stung. Not today. So basically, I'm going to go back to the basically, This is going to be kind of hard. I need to not let him go, but I need him to get into this thing without me having to touch him. There he is. He's in here. There we go. There he is. There he is. Okay, so now we need to clean this aquarium. That definitely. I thought we were gonna have to clean today, but then you know my my scavenger, he just completely got bacteria everywhere. Honestly, I wrote gravel is really not a must. It's definitely a choice and if it's your choice then don't do it because he it's literally they cause so much waste. Because honestly, this is three fish that has been in here for, what, a week? There should not be this much waste. There should hardly be any waste at all. For these little tiny fish, for this big little poop? No way. That should not even be possible. But, you know, when you have these six feet long things, they get pretty big. So, yeah. I'm going to ask if I can take them back because I just can't, you know, deal with all their waste. And, they, you know, they're kind of bullies, actually. And... They just, they are just kind of jerks, you know. All in all, I love them, but I mean, boy, are they mean to my other fish and to fish in general. This thing has always been my dirtiest. And, you know, I definitely go with goat shrimp. Goat shrimp, shrimp are like awesome. Unnecessary. Ah, I'm gonna put on all my, all my sweats. Stop it. I'm really getting sick of you guys. It's not that I don't love them, right? I mean, it's just that. I, was, I got one of these and he didn't grow very big. And I'm like, oh, okay, this is awesome. Let's get another one. Another one. And I knew they got this big, and I don't know why I got another one. Because I just got Henry. You guys know who Henry is? No, I'll forget it. I'm just going to drop it in here. Which means I'm going to go put it in the toilet. Okay, so now we're back, and I just cleaned up the. I still have to eco system that thing, so I just refilled the tank. Uh, I just had to do that one water change and then just refill it twice because it's pretty clean for the most part. Then, you know, Tiger, he, I love him. He's like the best pet ever. Then we have Zebra and Cayenne, who is growing dramatically. I love him so much. And then all the angelfish are out. And then the guppies are still at the top of the tank. Um, this is already out, and I don't know what to do. So I probably have to glue it. You know, the animals like blue. And then um, my guppies are out too. There's one guppy right there. And then I couldn't find Delta, so I'm pretty sure he passed, which is. Really sad because I loved Delta and my other guppies just disappeared. They're gone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So, anyways, let's start ecosystemming this tank. I have to grab a chair because I'm so short. 
but they have their own channel, and I just posted one of the tigers, so. There's one of every single animal, so there's just some loose food at the top. I just put in there if they want to eat it. And it just goes up there, and then. This blue one, I think it's going to go up in this back corner. Sorry, guys. Move. No? Fine. Bang, bang, bang. Shut me again, but it's going to be my... Oh. So, honestly, these scavengers are very, very, you know, mean. So, I think, actually, I think I'm probably going to move my duckies into this tank. And then, I think just get another angel fish in that just be their tank. Because, I don't know, we'll just have to see how the new grounds do. Um, because I am getting grammys, I don't know if you guys can know something. I am going to get two, three grammys, four grammys in this tank. Then I'm going to get another angelfish, and then I want to get, um, two more guppies. Well, three more guppies now. And then have them start breeding. Figure out, guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No. Put that right there. You guys can move. Then this plastic one, I'm sorry, you guys don't have to move. If you guys are so afraid of me, then do. First time, I ask you. Thank you. And this is just gonna save it for it, because that is like so funny. Okay. Beautiful angel. Okay, so that one is ecosystems. Or, no, uh, I forgot what it's called, but you know what I mean. Honestly, Tiger is growing dramatically. Like, honestly, how is he so happy? Actually, I missed his first week developing, so I do not know how he's been doing with my other fish. So it really sucks, but so far, it looks like he kind of keeps to himself, and I'm glad that we're going to give him to my friends. And these two, they've been together for so long that I don't need to get schooling. They just love each other, so that's awesome. He, like, at the pet store, he was flying around me like, hey, Tiger. Yeah. You can feel the vibrations in my finger. He's giving me kisses. Oh, he's giving me kisses. Very mean kisses. So basically, I think he's my favorite. I mean, and my favorite, I already told you guys, it is, of course, it's going to be Oscar, because he loves me too. I mean, he did try to bite me earlier, but I mean... He might have had a purpose to do that. I mean, I just messed up his tank. But, yeah. Jade is kind of mean, and Peter's never out, so Oscar's my favorite. <laughs> but honestly, Oscar's... Peter's very cute, too. Then there are my guppies. And then I'm definitely going to think I am going to move into this tank. It's just so well established. I think they do a lot better. And then, you know, I, I'm definitely going to get another angelfish, and then just let them grow and grow and grow and grow and grow while they're in quarantine. <laughs> So I'm actually gonna go and run some errands and then check back on the fish to have a drink. So yeah, I love this upload. I'm just gonna put these back underneath the sink. Because this is my hobby. And the next up is actually my beta, which actually his filter broke and I guess he like went on a fast. So his thing is the absolutely disgusting. So I am cleaning the sink today. Probably when my grammys are uh, my grammys and Andrew angelfish are in um what's it called acclimating i'll show you guys my tank it's really bad i mean i'm it happened a week and he definitely went on the fast and he's not eating any food his filter isn't working so it's actually disgusting his water is pink um, I'm going to turn off my fan, even though it's like 100 degrees in my room. Don't see how much food I have left. Yeah, it's like, like it's not that much food. He's just, he hasn't been eating. My ghost shrimp are doing absolutely amazing. I don't know if you guys can see I'm probably not. But I will do an all my animals video after I get my grandma's today. So, yes. So, please like, comment, subscribe if you guys like these care videos. I'm definitely hoping to do more in the future. I literally can't breathe. But... Yeah, peace out.
Bye.